Okay, we have some breaking news to report. Week now update with Ellie Mueller is next on Naked Night. Great comedy, great fun, great music, great everything. Fabrice, what else do we have? After tonight's episode of Week Night Update, leave it up for Joey Headphones as he blasts music for you tonight with a headphones hour. That bouncing ball should get an Oscar, seriously. Yes. And to wrap tonight's program up, let us show you a compilation of shoutouts done by one of our beloved members on Nick at Night, Diamond.Cammy. That guy surely does an amazing job voicing Sonic characters, especially Rouge the Hat, which I personally think is incredible. Oh, and as a reminder, he won't be back on the crew until January of 2022, so please be patient. Okay. Alright, so. Stay glued to Naked Night. Now, resume Naked Night with your uh, week of Within every uh, moment, the late night talk show is bombing. Week now, up there, Nelly Mule just strives and strives and survives. So, this is it. Here's the show. Let's go. On the YouTube dog, yo, Kevin Hart, please go to play. Wait, what? It's week now, David Ellie Mueller. And now, man who is about to have a serious discussion with this announcer at the show because of what he just did, Mr. Ellie Gundy Mueller! Ha! Welcome to week now, update. I'm Ellie Gundy Mueller, it's our guys' office. <laughs> Alright, you know who made the theme song, the bumpers, and the previews, right? Diamond Dark Cammy, Baby I'm Creations, and Fabrice Lord Shaggy, Watch World 10. Alright, now. Let's get off the shots right with us, shall we? Spike Spire can has his fan edits, Nev 509 has vigilante videos and his gameplays. The Rockets with his movie night program, he really needs to get back into the swing of things. I'm serious about this this time. Fredoku has some random stuff, and Marvin the Maniac, Dr. Blood Studios, and Cassie Dragon with all kinds of, uh, Crazy stuff. Please check them all out. All right. Now, before we get on with the uh, entire program this evening, I just want to say uh, to everyone: Look, I apologize, you know, for not being uh, active on uh, Twitter. You know, but apparently, you know, uh, Twitter has this uh, weird uh, stuff. I don't know what's what's going on. But every time I try to get into uh, my Twitter page, you know, uh, for some reason or another, I couldn't really get in. You know, uh, hopefully the, uh, the problem will be uh, resolved by the end of the month. If not, then I don't know what to tell you. Except maybe I need to uh, get a new uh, Twitter page or something. I don't know. You know, you can, you know, but still, follow me on uh, Twitter. You know, my Twitter page is still uh, open, although uh, I can't really get in it. Get on it. And you can also uh, follow me on Facebook and uh yeah, that's basically it. But you're here on YouTube, and on the good night, that's all that matters. So, what's up? What's up with Kevin Hart, the comedian who still wants to be everywhere? You should totally think about retiring. Now, let's take a look at this. He gave Nick Cannon a llama for his birth. No. Wait. Rewind. He got a llama from him, Nick Cannon, on his birthday. Wow, that's weird. I don't want those things to be weird, but come on. Now check this out. He made his kids remember all the names of all of his co-workers. Why? Are they going to work in Hollywood? Is that the case? I, mean, I have a better chance of getting on late night TV than they do. I mean, look. Alright. We have an even better chance of having a reboot of the Girl Meets World. Having a reboot of Girl Meets World. At this point, then uh, those kids working in Hollywood. I mean, Smurf vlogs would agree. No, uh, that sentiment. And Smurf vlogs, if you're watching, then I'm looking forward to uh, to, to uh, you making a video about this program. Ah, oh, I'm watching. He's not watching this. But anyway, MP Gregos, let's do a top eight list. Let's see where we're at. Uh, let's see. Who Alright, 
Now, boys, 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 what is the category for tonight's uh, topic list? Tonight's category topic things that Kevin Hart doesn't like. Number eight, loss. Number seven, skunks. Number six, eggs. Number five, yolks. Number four, fish. Number three, curtains. Number two, silence. And number one, trees. Really? Don't ask. Please. Please don't. Thank you, boys. Thank you very much. I'll be right back. You can still call it week now update. Now, here it is, your vow tonight. We are never, ever, ever getting back to get. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you know what's up here? Your new Empire carpet. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let me tell you about it. First of all, it won't cost you much. From six ninety-five dollars yard installed, including foam padding. Our credit plan gives you 60 days to make an installment payment. And now to celebrate our 25th anniversary, we're offering this push-button telephone or a Bissell shampoo or free with any carpet order. So call us about your new carpet. Five eight eight two three hundred and five. Hey guys, how do I get down from here? Guys? How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I am doing all right. Man, your band is jamming tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Woo. It is going to be quite a week this week. Yes. Yes, indeed. Now, with that being said, and, I, and I'm glad that we uh, talked about it, because now it's time for a little talking time. Let's talk about it. Let's go, huh? Let's talk about it. Okay. Now, check this out, folks. Check this out. All right. You know that uh, Kevin Hart uh, got his uh, big break uh, in comedy when he was on Wild and Out with Nick Cannon many years ago, right? Okay. Now, as you know, a while back, it was his 42nd birthday. You know, and, and he has received a lot of gifts. From a lot of people. Alright. But one person in particular who sent him a birthday gift. Was Nick Cannon. Now he thought. Oh. Nick Cannon gave me a gift. Well. But, uh, I'll open this up first. And then all of a sudden. But thank you. No. Now he was getting ready to do that. And all of a sudden he found out. That it was. A llama. That's right. A llama. You know, and then he wrote, uh, on, uh, Instagram, uh, you know, and he said he, uh, he wanted, to, he said he was, uh, Nick Cannon was one of the, uh, biggest of, on the planet. I'm not going to say that, uh, bad word because you know how it is, right? But anyway, he said, this guy, I'm not going to say the other word because, again, don't want to get into trouble. But anyway, this guy sent a llama to my house for my B-Day. No birthday. He said, love you, man. My brother for life. But then, in the, in the Instagram uh, clips below 
Right? You know, he said he got, uh, he even got, uh, he eventually got accustomed to the llama. And in the end, he embraced the challenge of having a new pet. You know, and he said, I love you, man. I'm having, wait a minute. Nick Cannon said, I love you, man. I'm having all these new kids. I figured you should have a new kid, too. Welcome, Lucky the Llama, to the family. Hashtag, save the drama for your llama. That's what Nick Cannon wrote back to him. Now, I mean, whew. I mean, who knew that a llama could be a great gift, which really made me uh, rethink uh, the whole uh, top eight list uh, thing a little. You know. Anyway, check this out, okay? You know, uh, Kevin Hart, uh, when he was uh, on the set of Fatherhood, right, the new movie, right? You know, he made his kids, uh, you know, uh, research everyone's name and they even uh, he even asked them what, to look up what they do all right and and look at that you know what not only did they uh, do that but also it is going to be insane. You know, why would you would you do that? But whatever. Anyway, he treated uh, Heaven and uh, Hendrix. You know, the two kids that he got from his previous marriage. You know, he put them in charge, pretty much. You know, and Kevin Hart said, What I've learned as a father is the most important, important thing in the world is listening. It's not about trying to be right. It's not about advice. It's about listening, understanding, and then doing your best to give information so that your kids can make the best choices for them. Not for you but for them. Wow. That is very, very, very deep. Of course, I wish that he would have thought about that uh, almost five years ago when he had this uh, big uh, scandal. We're not going to talk about that because that has been uh, talked about so many times. But he talked about that with his children and and of course, you know, uh, everything is all uh, better now. You know, or at least we hope everything will be better. Anyway, that puts a lid on tonight's program. Tomorrow night, we're going to talk about Jack Black. Then on Wednesday, Jane Lynch. Thursday, Jennifer Connelly. Friday, Nicolas Cage. Remember, with the Nicolas Cage episode, we're going to have a drawing from Columbia Gate Animation. We're going to have that. No, no, we're going to have Fabrice Walsh, a.k.a. Rocky Bowl 10 on board. And we're also going to have Emmanuel Gaffey. It's going to be... It's going to be so big that people might want to uh, call it uh, the new Woodstock. Ah, who am I kidding? That doesn't make any sense at all. But, guess what, folks? That's the news. I'm Alex Key. Spread well, right, spread well. If you're audiovisually inclined toward TV of the classic kind, then Nick at Night has been designed for you. Ooh, wee.